go to the left when we go up in here. Okay, so before we get any further into the video, as you can see, this is the mighty you saw. They're purposely filming themselves, so that means they're up to no good. And just to put it out there, I haven't viewed the video before adding this commentary, so I'll be adding commentary on the fly. And I'm going to make a prediction. These guys are about to go into some government building and make a complete fool out of themselves. Yeah. Oh, because we're talking to the sheriff. What's going on, guys? You guys just come over here and put all your stuff uh, in one of these bins right here. Um, what's the uh, what's the radio? Uh, I'm a law enforcement officer, with the United States American Republic. Uh, we came in here today to talk to the sheriff's office. Sorry to kind of uh, reschedule, uh, move a schedule or whatnot. The fact of the matter is, I did come in here the other day with some of my law enforcement equipment. The sheriff office held it for me, allowed me to still walk through these buildings and go out the course of my day. But we're just going directly to the sheriff office. That's fine, man. Let me give him a call because we just you go ahead. They have to if hold radios yep. for you. Yeah, I'm gonna go in there with him anyway. But yeah, LT gonna, or Catherine, fine. Here, yeah. Right on. Okay, so once again, we have members of the fictitious government you saw walking into some type of government building requesting a meeting with the sheriff he's identifying himself as a law enforcement agent and he has walkie talkies and he's expecting to get through as if he's really a law enforcement agent and i'm pretty sure that's not going to happen yeah you guys yeah, just say, yeah. I know you just, I just, just can't let you through with the radio. They have to come out and ask for Just, just, just hold that. Just, hold, just, just say right there. She came out last time. We're gonna be good, bro. Sometimes, sometimes just listen. Some say, just point it. You know, you're good. I'm down. They're here to go to the sheriff's office. They just have some radios and stuff, and I just wanted to make sure that they. Hi, ma'am. Hi, how are you? Did I see you last time? How yes, ma'am. So unfortunately, I'm back. Uh, That's uh, not an unfortunate thing. Why are you yeah. saying unfortunately? Yeah. Come on. Well, now. I didn't want to be back. <laughs> But uh, basically, we came to the sheriff's office today to uh, talk to uh, basically some lieutenants or some captains about some things out here in the public in regards to you know our license and things of that nature. Because uh, and we, but but hold on, let's go to the back. Let's take this. Let's not. You know what I mean? Did, did you want to hold this? Uh, if you guys don't mind, they just don't want him in here because okay, so recording right and here? things of that okay, nature. Or, you know, if you're going in the courtroom, you can hold it for me. Man. If you're going to the courtroom stuff. But it's legal to record in the courtroom too. It's fine. Nah, I don't. We don't go. If, if there's a sign like like in here, this public area, you can film, do yep, all that. Yep. Now, when it's says, in a courtroom, if there's a sign that says no recording or video Judges can do their own little ordinances to stop certain public reports. Let me let me do this more. I have no time. Go. Oh, look at that! They brought their own little walkie-talkies into the court building, and their walkie-talkies are being held by real government officials not you fictitious you saw government officials if you guys were actually government officials then you would be able to walk into i guess this is a courthouse with your walkie talkies but as you can see you can't which is why you handed your little walkie talkies over because you guys are fake this is nonsense you guys are playing make-believe you're like children on halloween Come on, man. This is ridiculous. So they'll, um, same thing like these, the judge wouldn't allow you to have the radios in there for like, recording purposes. Okay. That makes right. sense. Right. But we don't even go to court. That's the whole thing, Mo. Let me, I got, I got this, Mo. Okay. Did you guys head to, to a, a courtroom? No, we was going to the sheriff's office. Right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, you guys got to go through security, though. Okay, we can. And then we'll, I'll meet you around. If you guys can leave the stuff in your jacket, then throw your jacket in your clothes. And your keys as well. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. 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 Doing 
Come to drink. Every day. <laughs> okay. Bed on, man. Like it's just not really that bad outside, I really? promise you. <laughs> man, I'll be out there freezing. Morning, Sarge. Morning. Okay. Is it a report you need filed or? Uh, I've been filed a uh, complaint to the sheriff's so office, but they have uh, never uh, yeah, got back with it. Okay. Uh, neither has IMPD. And uh, the problem that we're, we're seeming to get is that uh, I, we have a law from Charter State uh, that's been here since uh, April 14, 2015 mm -hmm. uh, by the Indiana Secretary of State. Uh, and you can pull up on Indiana Secretary of State website. And I've called the Secretary of State. We've talked to them. And they've told us. Uh, basically to do what we have to in our charter because in this charter as a state we don't it's not really a habeas corpus situation no more it's mm -hmm. that we have our own uh, general society which is we have our own court what in the doohickey are you talking about sir you got your own court with, with, with your fictitious government so give me the court that you guys own give me the address to that courthouse like, you guys are delusional, and it's actually weird that you think the rest of the world is obliged to play along with your nonsense. You guys are actually taking the time out of your day to go and speak with the sheriff to tell him this nonsense when your time is better off suited doing something more productive. This is nonsense. What is wrong with you guys? The problem that we're seeming to get is that uh, I, we have a law from Charter State uh, that's been here since uh, April 14, 2015 mm -hmm. uh, by the Indiana Secretary of State. Uh, and you can pull up on Indiana Secretary of State website. And I've called the Secretary of State. We've talked to them. And they've told us uh, basically to do what we have to in our charter because in this charter as a state, we don't. it's not really a habeas corpus situation no more. It's mm -hmm. that we have our own uh general society which we have our own court our chief justice and our supreme court and these can all be validated uh also we have our own marshal services and we also have you know uh which i would like to call you know basically uh huh hold on, hold on. they need to understand this brother because it's the only way you're protected because you have your government without no government you're stateless man so basically uh we've been having issues no shit. And um, proportionally, I don't get pulled over. I ride around my government place to issue that in my state. They don't pull me over. Uh, he hasn't been pulled over out, out here either. Mm -hmm. But as soon as he goes to the city of Lawrence, you know, uh, you know, they pull him over and things of that nature. And he's just about, about my driver's license. Oh yeah, that's state I that's our state ID, which is government property because it was mm -hmm. issued out of this government lawfully. So who took it? Uh, the city of Lawrence. Uh, we'll go down there to get that. But really, uh, man, we came down here just to uh, get some understanding and diplomacy with the principality of the city, you know, the sheriff's office and mm -hmm. things of that nature because IMPD has a license, we have one. We understand what everybody can and can't do mm -hmm. and no laws, no states above the law of commerce. So to not sit here and, you know, just keep babbling about something, I'll show you the things from Connie that states that we can do what we're doing legal and lawfully. I've been to the chief's office, secretary of state, to governors, been to the mayors, uh, I've been to <laughs> et cetera, et cetera. Pretty much everywhere, yeah, right? So the DHS talk, even came to talk to me. Day. Who do we talk to because they're trying to uh, get me to go fingerprint. How about I got- uh, You don't have to like, fingerprint, that's prop. I got a- Where's our- government uh, Identification and that's not the case. So mm. I'm, they say I gotta come, I'm supposed to go downstairs 
to the sheriff's office in the basement? Was that is that what is that the processing station I'm in? Mm -hmm. Yep. If it, if it's a uh, if I can see your paperwork, yes, if you don't yes, mind. Yes, no right. And I can't, I can't let them do that until they sign this paper right here. I told them they sign this paper. This is how we get paid mm -hmm. behind this because they screw up basically and not knowing what they can or can't do. Mm -hmm. We're civilized people. We're lawful. We have a constitution. Mm -hmm. uh, this is not the thing. Is I, I understand because I've talked to a lot of police and I uh, talked to police that recently graduated out the academy. And he told me that, you know, when he went through the police academy, where he yeah. was familiarized with was sovereign mm -hmm. citizen. And I told him, and that's what the we cleaned that mess up thing. because he now we have a sovereign thing. state. We actually have a state. It's a corporation. It's a governmental corporation set mm -hmm. up to protect our nation and the public. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. It's like exactly. any other governmental so corporation. When I, so when I informed him of this, he stated that uh, I was a, I'm trying to be a sovereign. I'm like, well, I don't even know what you're talking about. Uh, mm -hmm. a, lot of, a lot of law enforcement officers are uneducated on uh, basically uh, who the Moorish Americans are and that we do have a law for the state admitted and respected by the other states. Uh, the fact is we got this offshoot group going on, which is these guys feel like they can just make up, draw whatever they want, don't go to any government, get no kind of consent, consent on how they can do what they're doing and get it valid, validated. They just make up their own documents. They go get those watermarks at the U.S. You know, that's States Postal Services and just drop their own stuff and valid. That's not how that works here. Okay, so it's official. These Morris sovereign citizens are complete morons. He literally just described everything that their group does, you saw, and tries to say that they're not the same as the other Morris sovereign citizens. You guys, first and foremost, are sovereign citizens. Secondly, your government is fictitious and nobody recognizes it. And it's absolutely just mind-blowing that you're actually taking the time out of your day to come down here to the courthouse to explain all of this nonsense to the sheriff as if the sheriff is supposed to 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 see things your way this is ridiculous you guys are just foolish like you're 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 imbeciles it's is this is this is sad that the african-american community has turned to this nonsense because they're so lost. He really believes that his government, you saw, is a legitimate government. Did you hear him say, hey, before he goes down and gets fingerprinted, I want you guys to sign this paper? No one is signing your silly paperwork, sir. What is wrong with you? Like, give it up. Go home. Give it up. Take a nap. And we also recorded with the county. So the whole point was that we went the legal route behind this to do what's right to clean up you know mm -hmm. all these other guys out here talking about i got a right to travel these travel right, card mess and stuff i need to um let's get to the point that i need to uh tell him you know I he, to well him. basically he needs his uh i need i need his id back basically and I need, i'm trying to who has it uh, i think it's here because it they said i had a criminal case now so did I you get. say it was what, did it happen in Lawrence? Yes, Where it happened they in, over in Lawrence? That's yeah. what I'm trying to see who sees it. I don't know it. if they sent the property here or not, but they told me that uh, first, I, at first, all I had was traffic tickets. Mm -hmm. Then when I came here Wednesday, they said, uh, you got to go get fingerprinted. Now you have new cases. I'm like, how you get new cases over? It happened in October. Mm -hmm. That was my first time going to court Wednesday. Now they saying that these, now they added some new stuff, which I don't understand. Did you have a... Um, what do you want to call it, like a WebEx virtual court date, or do you? Yeah, I know. Um, I had a virtual court date. Then he asked me to come in. When I came in, that's what they there did. You are. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. And I tried to explain to them who I was. Showed them my driver's license. Mm -hmm. These are my plates. I have my registration. I have my birth certificate. My title to my car. Mm -hmm. and oh, no, all no, uh, go ahead and step in real fast. Right? I, wow. So this is actually a continuation to the other video I made where this Morris sovereign citizen right here got pulled over and the officers confiscated his license. So this is still that same madness. He's still trying to get his license back. Sir, you are not getting your fictitious USAW license back. It is not happening. It's not happening. I don't understand the problem. I don't uh, like, and they want me to go fingerprint. They're still trying to say that I'm a black male, a 
black so, so. man. Like they like he's racist black. I'm a Moor. He's a, he's a Moor. Uh, uh, he's he's racist, black. Asiatic, he's nationalized, he's Moorish American. His legal mm -hmm. status allowed to be free white person because you wrong. No ties to national or American descent or national descent. Mm -hmm. European descent for the United States have a naturalization act now. Uh, so you can see here in my house during resolution approved by kind of lost of the Secretary of State. Mm -hmm. We went back because you know we're not teaching the temple, they teach they teach nationality. But since we're the actual state, we confer nationality upon our people. So just like any other state, to make them actual state citizens, you know, they take state oath of allegiance to the United States of America Republic and they also repatriate. You uh, have to to the judge. No, you don't. Hold on, man. You ever got your property, man? I can get it. Get it off, man. I'm off with you. She can't. She can't handle this. That's what I'm telling you. So we doing all this explaining. We're gonna have to do it again. We need to ask her who we need to talk to. I'm just trying to figure out who sees it. I can go directly to the person who sees it. Trying to do, but we doing all this right here ain't getting us nowhere. Yeah, we got to find out who the the officer was. Well, first off, the the officer that pulled you over, and that would have been the person that seized your property. Okay. And if they did, that would be. In the property room. Uh, and now, right. all right, then we can go there because I got this case report and I, I got to file first, up on it. I can't go there. I need to get this taken care of because they told me that if I don't do this, they're going to issue a warrant out for my arrest. And I'm not doing this. I need to talk to the judge today. So now I'm confused, right? This more sovereign citizen got pulled over, got his fictitious Utah issue driver's license confiscated. So now they added charges and they told him if he didn't come down to the courthouse and get fingerprinted again because they added new charges onto his case that he that they would put a warrant out for his arrest. What I'm confused on is these more sovereign citizens think that the U.S. government has no jurisdiction over them. So if the U.S. government has no jurisdiction over them, why in the doohickey would you be worrying about a warrant that they issue for you? They don't have the jurisdiction to issue a warrant. So just forget about it. Just just live your life. Don't don't even think twice about it. Just have your fictitious government issue you a new uh, driver's license and move on with your life. Because the driver's license that they have now, that is considered evidence and you will not be getting it back, sir. Yeah, that'll have to go through the judge because of the charges that's already. That's not we'll go. We'll, we'll, we'll go to the court. We're going to the court. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, so who, what sheriff do we talk to so this won't happen again? Well, that's why I came in here. I don't want to keep getting pulled over and they right. don't recognize no, I completely you. Understand. Everything is actually. Right. And then, so I, want, I just want to show a little legitimacy of the mode because we're talking, but you know, you need to actually so she knows. Okay, right, so. we can show the legitimacy of it, but she's not the boss. She's not the one we really okay. need to talk to. That's not. I'm not going to say. But okay, but these time, are the people right? that's going to be riding around this city right here that we in. Right, right. Not these officers. I mean, I understand the only thing that happens when you step out the city of Lawrence. And I, and I know you're in a hurry, and I'd be more than happy to, to listen to everything after. I know you guys are time constraint. You want to come back? I will be here in this office. And, okay. You know, if, if there's anything else I can help you with, I'd be more than happy to. That's the so, show. That's the show. Yeah. Can you pay with the city of Lawrence? Say again, huh? That's the sheriff's office. Can you pay with the city of Lawrence, too? Uh, we don't, if, if it's a separate, um, I mean, okay, um, best to explain it. Yeah. We're all officers, but if it's that division, then they're going to have that stuff. You see what I'm saying? I know, but I'm just so asking, like, the sheriff is the them. sheriff of the whole uh, Indianapolis. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what I was trying yes, to see. So if mm -hmm. you guys recognize our documents and that they're valid, they have to Yeah, they all operate off the of right? Thank you. That's all. Yes, that's all. Like that's we what can I talk to sure. somebody like him. I mean, they don't that's mess with us, but at the same I'm time, sure. he still needs to that's be informed. Okay, so how do we, we come get these when we come back down? Uh, yes, if you if you can, like I said, uh, unless you're going to the court. If you're not going to the court, we're going to the clerk's the clerk's office up on the fourth floor. Oh, the clerk's office is down here on the first floor. Yeah, it's down there. Yep. They switched. Yep. Okay. Yeah, these. Uh, yeah, if you want, I I will just have them right back here. No um, I'll no have uh, Suarez. Uh, this is. Yeah, they're, they're good, they're good people. Here. I've been here. You know, I've been here before. And, man. Um, will you keep these for these gentlemen? Thank you. You're welcome. No problem. Um, do you want? I don't know what this is doing. Do you want it off or on? Or I don't you can get that off. Okay. I don't know what he did. With <laughs> I don't know what it's flashing. Sure. I didn't want your batteries or anything to die. So. Okay. Got it to now. Thank you. Oh, sir, do you want your? Ah. Uh, thank you. I I want somebody I'm thinking about too much right so. now. Thank you. Right here. Look, 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 look,
good, man. Look, you not look. I'm gonna look, 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 look. I've been in courtrooms. I trial cases myself. Be close with me too. I didn't beat my own. You gotta understand that everybody don't need to know everything. They not here to hear everything. That's all I'm saying. But I've been in We gotta get straight to the point. Talking to them, that was a waste of time. Right. She was just trying to direct us in the right spot. She That's did. What I'm trying she to told us to go to the clerk's office. Let's go. Seeing people in person, so you have to go on this website, the one I got highlighted. Yeah, the election board. And first, you have to so everybody's city elected right now. You have to fill out the application. Oh, I do. About election board. So we're going to talk. So we got to talk to someone. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go ahead and get this thing going. Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay
I don't know if he didn't oh. say that. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, he can go up there. And then, like, if he wants to transcript or, like, what happened in there. That's all. You requested from there. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Appreciate you. Let me walk share that. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. What's your, that's right. What you need? The first name that they have me under is Carl C A R L, and the last name they have is Dial D, as in dog O W D. You bring your birth certificate with you? Yeah. Uh -huh. I got it all. That's why I said they trying to put me in their system. That's what they. Nah, we ain't going. No. Even if we got to go to the county recorder's office. Yep. Ten twenty nine of eighty four. Here's my assessment thus far of this video. So prior to these more sovereign citizens coming to this courthouse, he was arrested, detained for driving without a legitimate driver's license. He got pulled over and he handed the police his USAW fictitious government issued driver's license they deemed it as not valid fictitious they locked him up he went to jail and now he's out of jail so that same license they're holding as evidence for his court case so now these more sovereign citizens from this fictitious USAR group is going to the courthouse today to try and prove the legitimacy of their whole license and registration. The problem with that is the day that they're here in this courthouse is not their court date. So they're doing this all in vain. That is not how the system works. You're not going to go around from office to office and, um, show these people all of your fictitious stuff, your license plates and your insurance and your driver's license and they're just going to say, okay, yeah, so now we believe you, so now all of the charges are dropped. No, you have to argue that on your court date in front of a judge and the judge will make that final determination and it won't be a one day process. Whatever you submit as evidence, they then will look into it. And after they look into it, of course, the judge is going to see that everything is fictitious. So the charges do stand and then you're going to be penalized for whatever uh, it is that whatever the charges are. But you going around in the courthouse from room to room and now looking for the sheriff to try. Like, that's not how the system works, Bob. OK, now you're supposed to be here just for fingerprints because they added some charges. So go give them your fingerprints and that's it. I'm sure you already have a next scheduled court date. So on that court date, then you make all your arguments there. You submit all your evidence and then the judge will look into it and then make a final determination on it. But you just showing up to the courthouse. That is not how things work. What is wrong with you guys? You guys are like living in an alternate universe. This is ridiculous. I ain't even get your help. I'm gonna talk to all of them. Did you go in the courtroom or did you go to the courtroom? I went in the courtroom. Because <laughs> so I know it's on the fourth floor. Mm -hmm. I got you. Okay. So. Yeah, so I'm not for sure if they're in there or not, but it's 442. Okay. Okay? Thank you. Have a good day. You too. You too.
We're gonna make it happen, Mo. What's going on, brother? Hey, how you doing? Pretty well. Good. And if you want to, we can leave. We can go to the chief's office too here. The mayor's yeah. office is open. See the mayor. You want to see you want? Yeah. Talk to the mayor. So I made mayor's see. office, the uh, the fifth floor. See what the highest mayor up there? Be up there? Nah. That's nah, the Indianapolis mayor, right? Yeah, but see, they still ain't over sheriff though. You're. Right, I do a great deal, man. Four twenty one, four twenty two, right here. Go to the other door on the other side. Doing, sir. Pretty pretty. How you doing? Hi. I wanted to speak. Uh, this the judging. Is the prosecutor um about this case now? He's in court too. Um, when will they be out of court? When will the recess take? Um, probably not for at least another hour. Okay, that's fine. Um, if you want, you can have a seat back in the gallery in the courtroom, and I can let them know that you're here. Um, if you can, uh, there might be a, there should be a short break between the remote session that we're having now and then the in person session. Later. Okay, because, uh, <laughs> I'm his attorney general for the yeah. province of Indiana, United States of America, Public Chief Law Enforcement Officer, Chief Legal Advisor. You can allow them to know that I'll be sitting in the courtroom right next to them. Uh, for their sake, uh, I won't. I'll turn my reporter off. You know what I'm saying? Public ordinances and whatnot. Right. So the recording is there, and as you can see, this was all a big waste of time. They're in the courthouse, not on their court date. They're requesting to speak to attorney generals and prosecutors and judges and whatnot. And that's just not how things work. If you want to speak to the to the prosecutor and the judge, you do that on your actual court date. You're just not going to show up on a random day and get to speak to the prosecutor and the judge. And all of this over a uh, fictitious issued license from the fictitious government you saw sir you're not getting that license back just have your fictitious government issue you another one because that one is being held as evidence and you will not be getting it back because by the end of that court of of your court case it will be officially deemed fictitious so you will not be getting your fictitious driver's license back just pay another 50 bucks to your fictitious government and get another one back because you wasting your time going to the courthouse and requesting to speak to the sheriff and the prosecutor and the judge. None of that is going to work out in your favor. But the moral of the story is stay away from more science because this is where you will end up doing nonsense like this and playing make believe. This is nonsense. These grown-ups are running around conducting themselves like children, and this is sad.